All right, friends, so today I'm coming at you with a hot topic, collagen. Um, if you have been alive for the last several years, you have been hearing about collagen everywhere. Um, it is all over the internet, there's influencers talking about it, there are health professionals talking about it. And so what I see a lot of is people blindly recommending um, their product that they're selling, which look, I am a social seller, I am in network marketing, I have products that I know are amazing that I sell. But the problem is, is that we can't blanketly and like blindly recommend every product to every person because every person is so different. And so what my goal today is, is to inform you about the different types of collagen, then talk to you about ours, our Young Living Collagen, and see if that's a good fit for you. Um, because everybody is so different and our needs are different and what we want the collagen to do in our bodies is different. And so because of that, we need to know um, more information than just, hey, this is an awesome product, take it, okay? And if, if you hear anybody just blindly recommending their product to everyone, like that's a red flag, okay? So let's take a minute, let's learn, and then let's go from there, okay? So collagen literally comes from a Greek word meaning glue. So it literally is the glue that holds all of the um, pieces of our body together. So it's found in our connective tissue, it's found in our eyes, our skin, our bones, our ligaments, our joints, even our intestines. It is found all throughout our body. And as we age, the collagen that is in our bodies starts to naturally decline. So by the time that we're 30, we are at our max that our body is going to um, be able to create of collagen. At 40, we start to lose collagen and that's when wrinkles start to form on a lot of people. And by 60, we've lost 50% of the collagen that's in our bodies. So if we, we meaning, you know, I'm talking to mamas that are like 35 to 45, if we are wanting to prevent um, wrinkles, to prevent aging, we need to be proactive and we need to be doing things now before those wrinkles really form. Um, so I've got like, you can see I've got lines here and I've got like angry 11s, you know, when I do that. Um, but I really don't have a ton of like laugh lines and I do have some, but not, they're not crazy and I wanna keep it that way, okay? So let's talk about the types of collagen. So there are five main types of collagen, types one through five you are going to hear over and over and over again about three main types. And those are the most common types that are found on the market. So those are the types that I am going to focus on today. But just realize that there are actually five types. So type one, 75% of the collagen in our bodies is type one collagen. So it is the most um, familiar to our body, the most bioavailable form for our bodies because our body recognizes it as the type of collagen that is in our body. Type one collagen is going to target fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it's also going to help support your muscles, your eyes and your bones, but its main job is fine lines and wrinkles. So you will see type one collagen um, promoted for healthy skin. Okay, you, that's what you're gonna see type one promoted for. Type one comes from marine sources. So you're going to see this coming from fish. Um, and then the amino acid, I have some notes, so if you see me looking over here. The amino acid profile in type one collagen is most similar to our skin and soft tissue. So that's gonna be our skin, our arteries, our, leg, our ligaments, and our intestines, okay? Type two collagen, um, is mainly for joint health. So this type of collagen in our body is present in our cartilage, in our connective tissue. Most bone broths are type two collagen. Most type two collagens come from bovine, porcine, and uh, chicken products, so poultry products. So that's where you're gonna see the type two collagen come into play. Type two is not really for skin. So if you see a type two collagen marketed for skin, that's fine, but make sure that there are, are 
excuse me, are other ingredients in that collagen to make it beneficial for your skin. So make sure that there's a hyaluronic acid or other like skin loving ingredients that are going to benefit your skin because otherwise your joints are gonna feel great, but if you're using it for your skin, you may not see results, okay? Um, type three is for gut health, okay? So it is predominantly for gut health and it's the second most abundant type of collagen that is in our bodies. Um, it supports muscles, tendons, ligaments, blood vessels, and this is mostly from bovine sources, okay? So, let me flip my notes over because there's so much information, I just wanna make sure that I don't leave anything out, okay? All right, let's keep going. <coughs> so now, let's chat about liquid versus powder because it's like hot topic all over the place. So let's talk first about how a collagen is extracted or hydrolyzed from a protein source. So a protein source is, is harvested, is taken from the animal, right? And then what happens first is after that protein is extracted, you have a big chain of amino acids that are left. Those are further hydrolyzed into smaller molecules, which are called peptides, okay? And then in this process of the breaking down of the protein source, the peptides are a powder, they are in powder form. So collagen comes in, in a powder form. So if you have a liquid collagen, that's just adding the, pro, adding the powder form to a liquid. It's fine, whatever your preference is, but it doesn't really make it more bioavailable or not because it's, it's literally just taking the powder and just adding it to a liquid and making it a liquid, okay? So some people, some different products are mixed into a liquid, some are not, completely just your preference, okay? It's not more bioavailable bio for your body, that's just not true, okay? So, <coughs> Young Living has a collagen product. I need the coffee. <clears throat> Young Living has a collagen product in the Asian market called Bloom. Um, our product in the Asian market is a liquid product because that is what that market wanted. That market did not want a flavorless, odorless powder. They wanted a liquid. So our collagen in our um, North American market is a powder form. So it's truly just like give the people what they want, right? Um, so Young Living surveyed 800 people. These were customers, not yet customers and brand partners in the North American market, and they wanted odorless, flavorless powder. And so what the majority wanted is what, um, is what we created for this market. Now this has been in production for four years. The um, Bloom collagen in the Asian market came out four years ago, and they've been spending that time working on the powder for our market here in North America, okay? So our collagen is a type one collagen. So if you look on the container, it is inner beauty collagen. It is for skin support, okay? So this is for fine lines, this is for wrinkles because that's what type one collagen supports. So when this was all in production, the main concern was this product being odorless and flavorless since it's type one, it comes from marine sources. There were also other concerns about heavy metals. Um, and so we, we took four years to produce this and I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions just about all of that for you, okay? So um, if you know Young Living, you know that we have a seed to seal process. So every product that we market and that we sell follows the seed to seal standards that we have in place, okay? So earlier I talked about the process of how you get collagen, right? So in that process of the collagen being removed, the peptides being broken down from the protein, um, the product becomes flavorless, which is super cool. Um, marine collagen is extracted from the skin and the scales of the fish. And what's really interesting is that when, um, when a fish gets contaminated with heavy metals or any other contaminant, those contaminants go into the flesh of the fish. And so when we're using the scales and the skin, that eliminates the heavy metals altogether. But just as a, you know, as a check, 
we check twice and we test twice for heavy metals. Once, once the um, collagen is first extracted, and then again, once it is packaged. So each lot has heavy metal testing already done. And then if you see, um, if you read the ingredient label of ours, you will see that our fish is sustainably raised and harvested, and you will see that it's not anything gross. It doesn't come from sharks, jellyfish, or anything like that. You can read our label right here. You can see that it comes from tilapia, crimson snapper, saddletail snapper, carp, cod, pollock, golden thread friend, thread fin beam, milkfish, and sea perch. So no sharks, no jellyfish, no gross stuff. Um, just high quality, um, sustainably harvested fish products, okay? Now, in addition to the collagen, what you'll also see in our product are ceramides. And so ceramides are um, actually they're lipids, so they're, they are a fat that goes into the cells of our body and it helps trap water. So it doesn't cause swelling, but what it does is it helps to hydrate our cells, our skin from the inside out and helps to give us a smooth finish, okay? So ceramides are a really, really awesome ingredient that I'm super excited um, is in our collagen because it is amazing for skin health. Now, a lot of ceramides that you'll see on the market are from products that we really didn't want to put in our product. Um, they're from wheat and soy and rice, and so a lot of those are very heavily contaminated. Um, and so we found that we could source ceramides from white peaches. So in Japan, there are these white peaches, um, and the ceramides also support hair, skin, and nails. So those ceramides are extracted from the white peaches in, in Japan, which is super cool because our fish is also um, harvested in Japan, and it is also, that's where uh, our collagen is hydrolyzed. So it's pretty cool, like we're using the same place for two of the ingredients in our product, okay? <clears throat> so our collagen specifically has clinical trials that were done on it that showed visible improvements in your skin in 21 days. So if you take your collagen for 21 days, you should see some visible improvements in your skin. Obviously, everybody's results are gonna vary. Everybody's results are going to be different, but 21 days is the time that you want to give yourself. The serving size of our collagen is six grams, and it was set according to getting the proper amount of both collagen and ceramides for your skin health, okay? So I used my whole first jar of collagen. Um, I don't have many wrinkles, like I said before, but I want to keep it that way, so I am going to continue to take this. Um, what I can tell you from my 21 days, my nails are visibly longer, visibly stronger. Um, I, in the past, have just been able to like peel my nails. I know this is horrible, but like just peel them instead of clipping them when they get too long. I can't do that anymore. They are super hard, super, um, they're not fragile at all. So I can't, I can't do that anymore. So that's really cool. My eyes are brighter, which I was like, this is very strange, but in my research for type one collagen, I noticed that it does support eye health. So, and the soft tissue, which would be your eyes. So thought that was really cool. Um, and another like strange thing was my gut function improved. I mean, I didn't think I had a problem in that area, um, but as far as like being regular goes and just like feeling like your bowels are like fully emptying, I'm a medical person, so this doesn't weird me out to talk about this. So I'm sorry if you're like, ah, she's talking about poop, um, but like super improved. So I think that is really, really cool. And I think those results are awesome. Um, so I'm excited to see what the next month brings. And I'm excited for all of you to try your collagen. If you have tried it, if you have any wins so far, let me know. Um, in the comments. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day and Inner Beauty Collagen is where it's at. Bye.